There's nothing like the Maryland-Duke game to get Maryland basketball fans riled up. A group of students tried to start lining up outside of the Comcast Center 24 hours before the game, but were forced to leave and return in the morning. Here I am, an hour and a half before the doors open to the Comcast Center at the University of Maryland for the biggest basketball event of the year, the Maryland Duke game. Let's hear from Maryland junior Franklin Dehard, who is at the front of the line. I was here up until 8 o'clock, and I came back at 8.40, um, and then I was here until... 3 o'clock and I came back at 3.30. I had to go change into something to, that I could move around in when they let us in the gates. Freshman Brian Gast is very excited for the game. This game is above school. It's above me. <laughs> it's more than one person tonight. It's the whole school. This game was crucial for Maryland to reach the number one spot in the ACC. This is Maryland's first victory over the Blue Devils after six consecutive losses. The fans stormed the court after the Terps upset Duke 79-72. to You look excited. What does this mean to you? This is incredible. I was here for the UNC game last year, but this is even better. To beat Duke senior night, we are practically freaking won the ACC. It's incredible. I love it. I love it. That was junior Pamela Nazuda right after storming the court. Now let's hear from Maryland's very own President Moat. Well, this is my last uh, home game as president, and what, what, what a last game to have. I think this is Maryland basketball at its best. It hasn't been like this exactly for a couple of years, but it's really a wonderful time for our campus, our students, our, our team especially. Tremendous, actually. Very exciting. After the game, the streets of College Park were filled with excited rioters and police. Kids, cover your ears. This is Rebecca Toronto with J203.